happy vlog Wednesday. So in today's video, I don't have a vlog, even though it's vlog Wednesday. Today is May favorite things. So I did not share it last week because last Friday, I don't think I shared a video last Friday because I had like four videos last week. So I decided Friday to do nothing but orders. So I pushed back favorite things to today. So like I've been doing for 2021, instead of doing a sit down favorite things, I'm going to walk you through my house and I'm going to share my six favorites from May and I'm super excited this month to share my six favorites. It feels like it's been a long time since I've shared them even though I don't think it's been a long time. So my first favorite for May is something that and you know what I'm gonna say my first two favorite things. We're gonna tackle two at one time. I have been asked about the case so I want to share the case with you and I will take you in my bedroom and share all of the cases that I have from this shop. So I stumbled upon the shop Get It Creations so she doesn't just sell cell phone cases, she sells backpacks and t-shirts and makeup bags. I will share everything with you that I have from her shop first thing. Um, let me share this first before I get to the phone case because the phone case is going to take a minute. So let's get to what is on my phone case. This is called a love handle and I think I have one that I haven't opened yet. So let me get that. Okay, I'm trying to make this where it's not shining, so that's why I'm sitting to the side. So, this is my phone. It did not come with this little black piece right here. This is called a love handle. I discovered this when we were on a cheer trip with Kate in Orange Beach in April. So, I'm a huge fan of the Loopy cases. They've made several favorites. They made a yearly favorite. It's a gift guide. But the problem with the Loopy case is there's only a certain amount of choices that you can have for designs. So I love the Get It Creations um, cell phone cases and I really wanted to use it but once you start using a loop it's kind of hard not to go without it. So or I guess you'd say it's kind of hard to go without it. So when we were on vacation one of the little gift shops had these. It's called a love handle phone grip and there's several different designs you can get. I got this one off of Amazon. I did not get it there. So I will link everything that I talk about in the description. It is basically a loopy little case, a little handle for your phone, and it sticks fantastic. So I was kind of hesitant about purchasing them because I didn't know how well it was going to work, but it works fantastic. You cannot tell. I've used this one for the past month, and it has worked great. So they have a lot of different colors, but I just wanted black, something plain. Maybe next time I'll get something different. But it has been the best purchase that I've made in the last couple of months. So I got two of them. So this one's probably going to go on my up case. I'll share that with you in a minute. So it's called the Love Handle. I want to say it's under $10, so I will link that. So that's my first favorite is the Love Handle. So now we're going to talk about Get It Creation. So I'm not just going to talk about the phone cases. I'm going to share everything that I have from this company. And I have given phone cases and backpacks for Christmas presents and birthday presents to Kate and my sister. So this is one of the designs. I think it's discontinued. I think. I'm not sure. She comes out with new designs all the time. So for me, using a loopy case, I was a little hesitant about going to something different. So the only cases that I have really used in the past are otter boxes and loopy cases. And I knew the quality and I knew it would not mess my phone up. But as you can see, I don't know if you can tell. Let me see if it'll zoom in. There we go. See, it is a pretty thick material very thick. I will tell you last week we were walking around the block and somehow I had my phone up and then I went to grab the loop and I slung it and I thought, oh, I don't even want to look. But guess what? My phone did not break. It didn't even crack the tempered glass. So this does work. I dropped it on the concrete and no problems at all. So I'm going to go to my bedroom and share everything with you that I have from Get It Creations. So don't mind this drawer. It may be a mess. I need to get some of my jewelry out. So right now I've got my jewelry in this. And I got a Vera Bradley um, little jewelry box, travel jewelry box. So I'd like to keep some of this stuff in. So here's my loopy case that I was using. So I have two Get It Creations covers in here. So yeah, phone cases. Phone cases. Yes, that's it. So this is my Christmas one. I think y'all saw this at Christmas time. I love this. So I am, maybe I can get a red one to go down the center of that. 
I haven't purchased any more since I've purchased these three. I got these when they were discontinuing some designs because I don't know. My cell phone is fixing to be two years old and I have this issue with when it hits two years old, the battery starts draining. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. We will see. I'd like to get a Halloween case next and then up. Y'all know up is my favorite. And then this is my up case. So that little black love handle that I haven't put on anything is probably going to go on this. Isn't that cute? So I'll probably break this out next. I just have to put that handle on there. So those are the two phone cases that I have. So now let me pull out my bags and things and share those with you. Okay, make it bag first. So you've probably seen this. I took this when we went camping. I just got this recently. This is a makeup bag, but I will tell you it worked perfect to carry all of my medication. So when we went to the camping trip and to my sisters, I used this for all of my medicine and it was perfect. So this is one of the makeup bags that Get It Creation sells. And y'all, this is a very nice material. So I was really hesitant about getting the bags because I did not know what the material was gonna be like, but it's fantastic. So the makeup bags and the backpacks are the same material. So I think I have two or three backpacks. I haven't broke out yet. So I have two backpacks from Get It Creation. So this one matches that makeup bag. And y'all, I purchased both of these when they were on sale. So some of these were getting discontinued and I think one of them she had a sale. I think I got this one. She was have, just having a sale, so I purchased this one. Just to see how I'd like it and I really love the material. So I'm gonna need to start using these soon. And then this one I got when she was discontinuing this print. And I also got this one for my sister for her birthday. She didn't have one for the theme parks and I wanted her to have a cute theme backpack. So how cute is that? So it's got all the Disney food. Y'all know I'm big on Disney foods. <laughs> so um, look, it's got like donuts and Mickey waffles and um, churros, Dole Whip, the caramel apple Mickey. So those are my bags. So those are my bags, my phone cases and makeup bags from Get It Creations. For my third favorite thing, we're gonna make our way into this pantry and let me move this. And this is embarrassing. This box is a hot mess. I don't know what the issue has been, but we have been to the grocery store the past two times and these cinnamon Cheerio boxes have been beat up. So these are amazing. They are limited edition cinnamon Cheerios, but we've gotten them for the past like three or four months. These are amazing. So I like Cheerios, not like to put milk in as cereal, but I like these as snacks. So this is what I've been snacking on at work for the past month. So I am kind of on a calorie cutback because I had gained some weight, like 10 pounds. And you may think, well, that's not bad. But for me, it is bad. I could start feeling it and I was feeling swollen. So I'm cutting back, not not really on a diet, but just cutting back on what I eat. So this has been one of my snacks lately, the limit, limited edition cinnamon Cheerios. And y'all, they are fantastic. So if you haven't tried them, check them out. My Kroger doesn't have them, Walmart does. And I don't know if Target does, but I have to get them at Walmart. So Walmart carries them, my Kroger does not. So that is my third favorite thing, is the Cinnamon Cheerios. Okay, we're back in my bedroom, and y'all, I'm changing my sheets and my quilt. Honesty time. I've already cleaned all of this, but I came in here today from running errands, and my cat had vomited a hairball on my bed. So... <laughs> Honest time, keeping it real for y'all. So I had to go and wash all the sheets and the quilt. And yeah, that's why it looks like this. So I'm back in here to share what's on this nightstand. So I'm still in the process of cleaning up. This last weekend I dusted and I need to get some of these things put away. But I am going to talk about this. This is, y'all, I haven't worn perfume in quite some time. I don't know. I just don't remember to put it on. But Kate and I ran into Bath and Body Works on one of her cheer trips. And I just thought, you know what? Let me go through here and see if I can find any body sprays that I want to get. And I got this one and I really, really, really like it. It is the Gingham. 
not only do I like the packaging, but it smells really good. And I did share this on Instagram, and several of you said it's your favorite as well. So I wanted to mention it. The Gingham is my favorite Bath & Body Works scent right now. So that's going to be the common question. Do you use the Bath & Body Works body sprays? I guess that's what they call these. Fine Fragrance Mist. Excuse me. Fine fa Ugh, That's kind of hard to say. Fine Fragrance Mist. So if you use it, what is your favorite? Let's leave that in the comments below because I am going to try some more of them. So I want to know your thoughts. So what's your favorite? Now for five and six, we are in my bathroom. And y'all look at my bathroom. So all that needs to be put up there. Yeah. So once again, I need to organize all that. Y'all have gotten behind on organizing. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it or lie. I have. So the next thing that I'm sharing, oh, it's sitting over here. I thought it was back there. Okay. So, I have used this several times on Kate's hair, and it's got a hair on it. This is my fifth favorite thing. I am not good at curling hair. So, I've tried everything from using a flat iron to using a curling iron. We've got one of those straight wands over there, and it just, it just does not work for me. So, I discovered this from one of my coworkers last year. She was using it on her hair at work before work started, and then she let me take it home and use it on Kate's hair for cheer pictures, and it was super easy to use. So this year, Kate has a wedding next weekend, and then she had, um, I think I use this for, oh, I use this for the last day of school and for cheer banquet, I think, or is it cheer pictures? One of those. And all you do is you put the very, the base of the hair, no, the end. So all you do is you put the end of the hair in here and you just twist and it seriously twists itself through here. You don't have to do any touching of the white part and it curls the hair perfectly. So this cost under $20. They had several different ones, purple and pink and green and blue maybe. So this was the cheapest one, so that's why we got the green. But if you have trouble curling hair like I do, this is amazing. And the brand, it says Resin. I don't know, Ryzen. I don't know, but I'm telling you, it works. I don't know how to curl hair, and with this, I'm able to curl Kate's hair. So I wanted to mention this, very well worth the money. Okay, for the last thing, I wanted to just kind of pop on so you can see my face. So when I'm talking, you can see me and not, yeah, the floor. So you guys know the Acure, I think it's A-C-U-R-E, brightening scrub is usually what I use on my face. But lately, they don't sell that or I haven't found that at my local Walmart. Target is 30 minutes away, so I'm not going to drive to Target to pick it up if I'm running out and all of that. So I was at Walmart and I needed an alternative. And I'm going to tell you, I really like this alternative that I got and I'm probably going to get some more. Of this so I wanted to mention it this is what I've been using to exfoliate my skin my face for the last couple of months and y'all this has lasted me probably since January so it's a bigger tube cost less than the Acure brand so this is what I'm talking about it's the Alba Botanica I'm probably pronouncing that wrong acne dot Oh, that's funny. Acne dote. I didn't even notice that. Face and body scrub. And it has no parabens and synthetic fragrances. It's 100% vegetable ingredients. This stuff works really well. And I will tell you, it's even more gentle on my face than the Acure brand. And I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. But this is a lot bigger tube than the other one. So this has 8 ounces. I'm not sure what the other one is. I want to say it's six, maybe. It's smaller than this one. So this one has lasted me since January. And I don't use it every day. I use it maybe two, three times a week just to get that dead skin off of my face. And I really liked it. It does have that green tint like the other one does. So there it is. So it's got a brown tint, not green. So the other one, the Acure, has a seaweed green tint. So this one is brown. So I love this. It's been working well on my skin. No breakouts. And it's less expensive than the other brand. So I definitely wanted to mention it in today's video. So those are my six 
favorite things from May. So remember everything that is available, I will link in the description below. Some of them might be affiliate links, which means if you click a link and make a purchase, I make a small commission off the sale, but it does not affect the price for you at all. So remember the common question is, what is your favorite Bath & Body Works fragrance? Fine mist, fine fragrance mist scent fragrance, whatever you're going to call it. <laughs> Let me know that in the comments below. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a big thumbs up by giving my videos a thumbs up. It shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.